Beep boop bop, it's Becca, and welcome back to Baking with Becca. So today we're gonna to be making a vegan icebox cake. So it's not really a cake, it's like a combination of whipped cream and chocolate pudding and chocolate chips and pieces of cookies, and it goes in the freezer all together in this thing, and it is incredible. So here we go. So here are our ingredients for our chocolate pudding. So I actually have a video on this already, but the link right up here, so if you need a little bit more detail of the procedure, you can watch that. But to start off, we are going to have our one cup of rice milk. I'm gonna add in a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. Then also to here, we're going to add in a quarter cup of sugar, two tablespoons of cocoa, and a pinch of salt. Now we're also gonna combine one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch with one tablespoon of cold water. So make sure that it's cold water. We're gonna mix those together into a bowl. And mix it up. And this is gonna form like a goopy substance as you can see. So we're gonna let it sit for a few minutes and it'll kind of dissolve. But this solution is what will make our pudding congeal and stay nice and together, not just be liquidy. So we're gonna let that sit. Now we're gonna take this over to the heat and we're going to start to stir it up. We're gonna mix it up. Have you ever made that stuff, oobleck? It's like a combination of cornstarch and water, how it like feels hard when you touch it. Like, look at this. It feels hard, but then it also is like this liquid. It's so weird, but this is what's pretty much gonna turn our liquid of like hot chocolate into pudding, which I think is really cool. So now that our mixture has warmed up, we're gonna add our chocolate chips into it. And mix that up till it melts. And now pour your oobleck into your pudding mixture. It looks really gross and you don't want it to get too clumpy. So mix it with the whisk. And now keep stirring until it gets bubbly. Okay, you see it's already getting super bubbly and thick. Like you can tell just by stirring, it's already gotten so much thicker just from the cornstarch. Okay, so this has gotten a lot thicker and now we're gonna pour it into our bowl. Now don't worry if you feel like the pudding isn't really thick enough because it's gonna go into the fridge and it's gonna set and it's gonna get a lot thicker. So now you're gonna put this into the fridge until it's completely cooled. Okay, so now that the pudding is chilling, we need to preheat our oven to make our cookies. To what temperature? <laughs> Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So now we need to make our cookie. So this is the base of chocolate chip cookie. So chocolate chip cookie dough, just without the chocolate chip because there's gonna be chocolate from other things. Don't worry, it gets way better than just plain old chocolate chip cookies. So here we have a half cup of brown sugar and a quarter cup of oil, plus two tablespoons of rice milk, and half a tablespoon of vanilla. And again, this recipe is already on my channel as well, so the link will be right up here. So if you need a little bit more clarity on the steps, or if you just wanna make them another time, you can watch that video. So let's mix this up. And now we're gonna add in the rest of our ingredients. We have a cup of flour, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And mix it up. Perfect, now this is ready to bake. Okay, so now I'm going to make this into our cookie dough balls to go into the oven. 
I'm gonna, it doesn't really matter how big you make them and what they look like because we're gonna be breaking them up into little pieces to put into our ice box cake. So kind of just go for it. But something that I really love about this recipe, I think it's interesting that everyone who eats it, they're like, oh my God, it tastes so buttery. And I'm like, huh, joke's on you, there's no butter in it. But they just have such a good flavor, such a good natural flavor from lots of sugar. And they're going to taste delicious. <laughs> with our pudding <laughs> and whipped cream. Get your hands in there. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Make it a little smaller. I mean, that would probably, it'd probably be good because it wouldn't cook very much and it'd be all doughy. It doesn't really matter if it's <laughs> cooked all the way through because they're vegan. So there's no egg to poison you. Okie dokie, perfect. Okay, now these are gonna go into the oven for about eight minutes or until the bottom is golden and they look like they're cooked all the way through. So here we go. So the cookies are done. They're like little balls, which I think are really cute. You can make them flat if you want, but again, we're just gonna be breaking them up and putting them into our icebox cake or whatever you want to call it. So now it's time to make the whipped cream. So this is the third and final part of this whole process. So what we need here is some non-dairy topping. You can use any brand you can find. Wow, it's the first time I opened that smoothly during the video. Now you have about a tablespoon of sugar. You can use a little bit more if you like very sweet. And then about a teaspoon of vanilla. Now just whip this up until it is nice and fluffy. So start at a slower speed and then work your way up higher. Okie dokie, so our cream nice and whipped. Now we are ready to assemble our cake. Now we are ready to assemble. So I also have a bowl of just some mini chocolate chips here that we'll put scattered throughout. So we will start off with a layer of whipped cream. And this, it can just be like a thin layer that you spread on the bottom of your pan. And this is an eight by eight size pan, which fits pretty well, but you can make it in any shape you want. And then next we're going to break up some of our cookies. So you can just break it into little pieces. Oh, they're so fluffy. And spread it around your pan. You want to make sure that every bite has a sufficient amount of cookie in it. Put like two cookies on the level. Maybe I should try a piece of cookie to make sure it's good. Just kidding, <laughs> they're amazing. Okay, next we're gonna take our pudding, which is so nice and jiggly. Look at this. So jiggly. And I'm just gonna put a little bit all around. And the cool thing about this is that the cookies, if they get dry at all when they're like sitting out waiting to be put in here, they're gonna get so much moisture again because they're surrounded by all of these wet things. Okay, and now sprinkle some of your chocolate chips on. This will add a nice little crunch in there. And back to the beginning, another layer of whipped cream. And kind of spread it out. It's okay if things mix together. Actually, it is ideal if things mix together. And kind of push it down when you're spreading because you don't really want to have gaps of air in there. Okay, now it's time for some more cookies.
Okay, we've used up everything except some more chocolate chips just to top it off. This looks so good. I'm very excited to try this later. Okay, and now this, I'm gonna put it into the freezer for like two or three hours so it'll get very cold. It's not gonna get like rock hard. If you kept it in the freezer for a lot longer, it would get a lot harder, which maybe you like it like that. It'll kind of taste like ice cream, but then after that, I'll probably keep it in the fridge. And I guess we'll try it later. Okay, so this sat in the freezer for like three hours, and I love how like you can even see frost on it. It looks so good. So we're gonna take a scoop and try it. Oh, it's like, not hard, but like more congealed. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, it looks so good. Let's try it. Oh my God, it's so good. It's like super refreshing because it's cold. You can taste so many flavors at once. It tastes like those flavors from the chocolate chip cookie and chocolate and whipped cream. There's all the creaminess and the sweet. It's it's really, really, really good. Like it's a perfect combination of things. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe, check out some of my other videos and I'll see you next time. Bye.